and stakeholders at the public hearing organized by the House Committee on Works, Environment, FEMA and Justice are all endorsing the idea of using concrete cement for the construction of roads in the country as against asphalt. This follows immense debate by stakeholders which includes construction companies and the Federal Ministry of Works, FEMA amongst others. The Chairman Committee on Works set the tone for the discussion as he changed his argument on the importance of road infrastructure for the economic growth and development of the country. What is even more concerning is that in some ongoing projects, the work on site is not proportional to the funds allocated to them. There is no doubt that we all must come together to chart a new course for our country if we want to ameliorate the sufferings of the masses. That is why the issue of adopting concrete technology for road construction must be subjected to a thought process to ensure value for money. Hence, this public hearing has become a necessity. In their responses, most of the stakeholders seem to endorse concrete as argued by representative of the Minister of Works and Director, Highway Construction and Rehabilitation, Engineer Ade Damola Kuti. So I'm committed to say, we have two companies in Nigeria that supply 80% of bitumen that is being sold to contractors. And number one is Golden Bitumen, seconded by Aska Bitumen, which is also, I mean, ably represented here today. So, I mean, this, our whole notion today is to tell you and assure you that the bitumen that is being circulated in Nigeria is duly certified by NNDPRA and it is in line with the expectation given by the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing. In a related development, the House Committee on FEMA had interfaced with the Managing Director and members of the board as he emphasized the importance of good roads and the need for FEMA to cover itself in glory. In his response, the Managing Director called for more sources of funding for the agency to deliver fully on its mandate. Please note that the successful implementation of this 14 legislative agenda and strategic action plan we, are, we have a far-reaching benefit for Nigerians. It will really lead to improve road infrastructure, enhance transportation connectivity, and facilitate economic growth. Furthermore, the adoption of innovative technologies and practices will increase the efficiency and effectiveness of road maintenance, resulting in reduced travel time and an improved overall user's experience. We believe that there's a lot to learn from, from road agencies from other countries. So to date, we have partnership with the, uh, with the SANRA, which is a South African national road agency. Um, we have an MOU with them on road-related matters. We have uh, uh, a collaboration with the Namibian road authorities. Nam Namibia currently has the best roads in, in Africa. Uh, we're also trying to forge relationships with the National Highways um, Authority of India, which we've already started talking to. We feel that establishing this collaboration and partnership will help us. It may not be in terms of finance, but it will help us develop the skill base we have